baseball team. He passed away recently, but he said something to, something to me that I've, I've taken in relationships and business. When you have to deliver criticism and you're kicking a guy in the ass, pat him on the shoulder. Put your arm around him. Listen, this stinks, but you're not doing your job. Because sometimes you got to kick somebody in the butt, but you want them to know you care as you kick them in the butt. And I've used that my entire life. I learned that from a guy named Larry Kentop 30 years ago. He passed away. He was my first boss. And um, this is the difference between Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. In the last day, they've both been unhappy with their organization. Tom Brady doesn't like how he's been screwed over in the contract. He can't get a second year. And Aaron Rodgers yesterday, they've been having these joint practices with other teams, and Aaron doesn't like it. And in both instances, both are telling you in their own way, I wish we had more power. I wish I'm pretty good at what I do. <laughs> I may be the best in the league. And, uh, but here's how Aaron Rodgers talks about joint practices he doesn't like. I'm glad it's over. Why so? So we can get on to the rest of training camp. I wouldn't mind if they didn't do it for another 14 years, but I think if they, uh, you know, look, that's out of my control. The tough part is they're not trying to show a whole lot. We're not trying to show a whole lot. So there wasn't a ton of diversity in the plays or uh, in the defensive schemes. You know, the physicality is a good thing. Going against somebody else is a good thing. But uh, schematically... Um, there wasn't a lot shown. Okay, so he's telling the organization, you're wasting my time. Okay, Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time, basically the Patriots gave him a one-year deal. Tom's not happy with it. But how he massages the message. Delivery matters. Here's how Tom, unhappy, delivers his message. It's really the reality for most guys in the NFL. You know, I don't want to think that I'm any different than everyone else. Like, it's football's a tough business. It's a production business. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go this year. And that's really what, what matters. And that's where my focus is. It is what it is. That's a good line. <laughs> so whoever said it, it's a very pertinent. So, like I said, there's a lot of guys who, are, who have, you know, one year left on their contract. Um, you know, so the situation... I got one year to go, and we'll see what happens. Okay, neither's happy. Neither wants to go through the route they're going through. Both are kind of voicing their opinion, but one's a little more gracious, and one's a little more snarky. That's the difference in their reputations. I tell this to young broadcasters. When you ask for a raise, when you ask for a replacement, how you... How you deliver it will be the deciding factor in your reputation. I'll give you an example. I forever used to be a subscriber to a newspaper. And uh, when I lived in Portland, there was a newspaper called The Oregonian. It was very good. And uh, it's a very wet state. And occasionally they get ice storms because of the Columbia River. There's ice. And so I, forever, I just got the newspaper. Even though increasingly I would only read parts of the newspaper because of phone technology and digital. But I canceled my subscription because of how they deliver the newspaper. In a wet state, I had a little area in my house where you could just lob the paper under and it wouldn't be completely sopping wet. But one Saturday morning, during an ice storm, they threw it. It missed my porch by eight feet, hit a bush, stuck to the bush due to the ice storm. And I got a machete out and had to get it off the bush, about cut my arm off. And whether or not the writers weren't any worse, the editors weren't any worse, the publishers weren't any worse, the photographers weren't any worse at the newspaper. But the feeling I got was, you don't care about me. You didn't even spend the time. You just winged it and you drove off before it landed. And how that company delivered their information to me bothered me. And I said, you don't give a rip about me. I canceled. A lot of people have canceled newspapers. Part of it's the delivery. It's too slow. It's not urgent. You have yesterday's news, and you keep missing our porch. How you deliver the message matters always, especially when you're nice. Or your wife, excuse me. You, I'm going to tell you something. Even with criticism of your wife. Trust me, I've made a lot of mistakes in that department. I've made a lot of mistakes. Hour two next.